uh, our first review of the day is Bridge of Spies. Now, Lingen was the last film that Spielberg did three years ago. It I was. haven't seen that. But this is, you know, he's a man who's matured into a role that he's very much taken on. He's sort of like the patron saint director of Hollywood, essentially, now, isn't he? He's like the most trusted, the most sort of revered director in Hollywood, essentially. Like, he's the, he's basically at the top of his game right now. He's he's a man who is the master of his craft. Doesn't and he? Bridge of Spies is the best way to describe it. It's it's just, you're just watching a master craftsman at work. Yeah. The man who has completely mastered his trade and knows all of the tricks, all of the trade, and knows exactly how he wants his films to be made. And, you know, generally, every single time you watch one of his films, you're going to get a certain level of quality, and this is, is no less, because... Despite, yep. I was gonna say we'd, we'd have to have some bottle to have a pick a fight with Spielberg. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, the, you could pick a fight with Spielberg quite easily, but you know, you, you've got to. Have well, he is getting, the, the, he is getting older. To be fair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And for 141 minutes, despite that being quite a long time, you don't feel that at all because. And for being a Cold War film. And for being a Cold War film at all, you, you don't you don't feel like it's dragging at all because it's just so wonderfully crafted and so sort of mercilessly mercifully pierced that you never seem to be wanting to sort of just close your eyes or just stop or just like lose interest at all because so what's it about <laughs> yeah but then um, yeah I, I was trying to sort of go well, on know, like know, yeah but yeah. like yeah. okay so basically um it's set in the cold war obviously and we're following a lawyer called james b donovan played by tom hanks you know the classic every man of today who's seemingly got a never-ending symbiotic relationship with spielberg just when, like whenever Harrison i Ford. see tom hanks in this film because because of the sort of stature and his coat yeah i kept getting flashbacks to the carly ray jepson videos in the start of the year oh god it's yeah, good. Uh, it's a good thing. Oh, yeah, I like but, um, Tom Hanks. So um, Tom Hanks' character is a bit of a sketchy character. You know, he's he's really sort of underhanded. He's a lawyer, and obviously he's he's an insurance broker, and he's well, insurance lawyer, sorry, and he's really underhanded in his dealings, and he knows exactly what to get the job done. And he is entrusted to the job that nobody wants, and that is to negotiate the swap of a pilot that went down over Russian airspace, a US pilot called Francis Gary Powers, and a Soviet Union spy called Rudolf Abel, who was doing KJB work in the United States in Brooklyn, and was captured, and now they have to be swapped and, well, hopefully not kick off the Cold War, essentially. Hmm. It's a great, great, great performance by Tom Hanks. Like yeah. you, re- you really, really, really. I mean, he is, he is just, he's so intimately likable that you just do feel like you, you, you're backing him at all times because he doesn't feel like sort of like the typical. I mean, that's probably why. I mean, that's where the true every man sort of stereotype comes from. You know, he's hmm. the man that is, is, is the man that you are. You know, yeah. he's the man that I am. You know, he's, he's the man who would react like he he's would. The man in you want. He's the man you want to be. Exactly. He's the man. He's the man that you believe would do it. And uh, while it does obviously feel like major Hollywood cinema, you know, you've got the Thomas Newman. Sound soundtrack which is great you've got that brilliant direction by Spielberg and you've got these sort of seasoned actors you've got Mark Rylance as Rudolph Abel who He's as we fantastic. found out yeah, doesn't really do cinema he's sort of a theatre actor he turned down a lot of Spielberg, uh, Spielberg roles yeah. in the past and, but, and finally wore him down for this one and I, I'm glad he did because he is sensational as well but um, it is sort of about that symbiotic relationship between Abel and Donovan because they are both the sort of that parallel between the fact that they are both hoping to do the best for their country but they don't ha- like it's sort of like a, a poison chalice, I guess that's the best way to say it, because yeah. Donovan is doing the job nobody wants to do because obviously he has been branded as a traitor because he's trying to free this spy who everyone else wants hung because he is a traitor and it's the height of the Cold War and because of that they just can't be peace because people want bloodshed. And while Rudolf Abel, you know, he's a man who's very calm, very collected, he's clearly just a normal man doing his job and he's clearly not just like in an you, you never really know his, his in an interview Spielberg compared him to an alien, but then he jumped, yeah. and then he said like, you know, not one of my normal aliens that I yeah. use. Yeah. He's very, he's a very closeted man. You know, you never really get to see too much of of him. You know, you get to see his like basic family life, and you get to see like basic details that he tells to Donovan. But you can he's tell incredibly, that, he's incredibly witty. Yeah, yeah, he's he's very witty. But you, he's just got that intimate like ability that that appeals to Donovan. They sort of get that bond, and he sort of becomes like his custodian essentially as the film progresses. He sort of realizes that he wants Rudolph Abel's safety just as much as he wants Gary Powers. And then there is a U.S. student in Berlin who gets uh, captured as well, and it ends up being a double negotiation, which is where the Lawyer sort of skills of Donovan come in because mm. you do feel you've got a sort of like two exchange for one, you know. Two it, makes things, it makes things a tad more complicated yeah. because other other organizations uh-huh. get involved as exactly, well. Exactly, because at the start of the film, Donovan's seen negotiating one accident in terms of like six accidents. Like there was a car wiped yeah. out six motorbikes. You've seen one, 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 one. Yeah, as one accident, obviously that becomes the thing with the spies. So that's good to see. But basically, it is just that it is that triumphant sort of 
the everyman quality that Tom Hanks has that you really do get behind. And while this could have been something which is sort of like, oh, America, patriotism, the Constitution, you know, which I did get a little bit of a feeling from from the trailer. It's not like that at all. Not, over, not overbearingly, no. Yeah, because all of the government officials you interact with are a bit sort of unlikable and really, really sketchy. Like the well, FBI Hanks, Hanks is with. Work, he's working against his own government. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So he's, uh, he's seemingly the only morally good person on the American side of things. So you really do get to see it through fully his eyes. And while it's just... So, I mean, it, I mean, I think the best way that I've seen it described by another critic was that it's like sitting in a comfy chair because you know, you know yeah. exactly what you're going to expect. It's not, it's not game changing, but you sit down no. and think, right, I'm home. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. It's just so perfectly crafted. You can just sit back, relax, and enjoy something that is unraveling in the perfect pace with the perfect amount of story beats and sort of just general characterization within the story. And a fantastic script by the exactly Coen's. to not bore you. We've had a script recently from Aaron mm-hmm. Sorkin, which was a bit over, a exactly. bit over egged. Mm-hmm. You know, another legendary screenwriting team of the Coens have yeah. co-written the script, mm-hmm. and they did. I think they've done a fantastic job. It actually sounds like real people speaking. It's got that sort of heft to it, but it feels real. Exactly, it really does. I mean, ha- Hanks had some fantastic speeches, and Rylance has some great one-liners. Mm-hmm. I think just, that the whole thing is like there, there's some great emotional symmetry throughout, and there's the usual Steelbook, um, Spielberg schmaltz, but there's not copious amounts. You know, mm-hmm. it's a normal amount because it is just a realistic story. You get to see the grotty side of the Cold War, and while there isn't much action, it's a very, very character focused piece and that's all the better for it because if they'd gone a bit more actionized like Spielberg has done in the past mm-hmm. I mean it, it, I guess it's just sort of grown up with Spielberg you know yeah. it's as, as there's he's kind matured of only the, there's kind of only the sequence in airspace yeah, exactly. which is actual but it, it, it's just it's just a masterpiece of character drama essentially and while it, it's not like you know it's not it's not a perfect film it is just a perfect character plot. I kind of found I kind of found nothing wrong with it. No, no, Certainly, there's nothing I could complain about. It might about. need a second watch to pick out yeah. some things, but I really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, I thoroughly, mm-hmm. thoroughly enjoyed it. Joe, I mean, you were asleep for a bit of it, but... Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I enjoyed the 20 minutes or so of it. Yeah. There we go. That's not your fault, though. We're busy people. We're, yeah, very we're busy people. But, Joe, it was uh, it was really good. I'll tell watched, you now. I watched Munich to make up for it. Oh, oh is, right, that, okay. um, was, is that actually... About, it's not the Munich air disaster, that's what it's about, No, it's the massacre. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, grim. When Mossad go after them. Yeah, but it's just a, it's a master craftsman at work with two experienced actors doing what they do best. That's a worth rec- seeing. That's a recommend. Definitely go see it. I might see it again. Yeah, don't, don't, think, don't, I think it's worth seeing. Don't it again. go in expecting like classic Spielberg, like in but terms then again, of action. Don't go in expecting how slow the trailer is. Oh yeah, yeah. I think not... I think it, it it's it's a lot of fun. So yeah, many memorable it's a, it's lines. A really it, good it, fun it, film. It, unlike Sork and Ease, like, which I love that. Mm-hmm. I, I know you didn't coin it, but you introduced me to that phrase. Yeah, it it feels real, and that's all the power for it. So definitely, definitely go see it. That is a recommend from all of us.